not bad, Shanghai. The train station is so big, man. It's very well signed. Feels like an airport. Don't be mistaken, it's not the capital of China. But Shanghai is the biggest city with about 24 million inhabitants. What was once a fishing village is now a fast-paced, no-rest, ever-evolving metropolis. But you can't finish exploring it, man. There are like lane houses. It's really cool. Just fringing the main roads are trees. And now I think it's like falls. It's in beautiful colour. Xiangyang Road is a... Uh, quite popular for good restaurants and you can see all this like you know in Malaysia they're like the bubble teas or whatever and coffee shops and ice cream parlors you will spend time shopping eating walking and taking metros oh, trains here. figuring out that Google Maps won't work even with VPN can't find the pedestrian tunnel I need to go there and discovering that the new does not devour the old here you hear that music? That's from the park. Today's weather is just fantastic. It's about like 17, 18 degrees now. It's cooling. It's about 4 o'clock. Uh, it's not too dark. It's so cool. I understand parks now. It's a city that's cool and hip but still true to itself and haven't forgotten its roots. And for that reason alone, Shanghai has made my top cities list. For a look into the past, present and glimpses of the future, go Wonder Shanghai!